Hi everybody, I wanted to just take a minute and talk to you about IVs. We're gonna be doing uh, drug calculations, um, IV calculations this week, so I wanted to show you. So here's an IV bag, we have a liter of fluid, well it's about half empty, we have a liter of fluid, we have an injection port here if we need to add medication to our um, IV. This is called our drip chamber, and if you notice, um, so we can adjust the drips, which will adjust the flow of our IV fluids. This is a roller clamp, so that's how we adjust the flow. On our tubing, there's an injection port. And then at the end is where we hook our IV up, okay? So we're gonna start out this week and do some IV calculations. Um, how many ml per hour? So let's go over here. If we have a 1,000 ml bag, um, and it doesn't matter what we've got in the bag, okay? So don't get thrown off by that. We have a thousand mLs to infuse over eight hours. How many mL per hour are we gonna have? In most of your facilities, we're gonna have pumps, so we'll just set that pump up at whatever it's gonna be. And the way we figure that out is, here's our thing is volume over time equals mL per hour. So our total volume in mL divided by time in hours equals how many ml per hour that we're going to set our pump at. So let's fill our numbers in. Our total volume is 1,000 mls. Our time in hours is 8 hours. So if I divide 1,000 by 8, it's going to be 125 ml per hour. Okay, so that's what I'll set my pump at. Okay. Um, just know that when you're setting your pump up, it doesn't take fractions, so you always have to round to a whole number. So that'll be 125 ml per hour, okay? Easy stuff, so total volume divided by time in hours equals ml per hour. Let's go back to our IV again. And let's look at this drip chamber a little bit closer. So the drip factor is how many drops this tubing will deliver to make one ml. Some of the tubings are very different, so it's important if we have to set this up manually, if we don't have a pump, what our drip factor is. You're gonna see that on your tubing. So here, our drip factor is 15. It's on our IV tubing, okay? So again, our drip factor is how many drops in one ml. When you're working pumps like we did with that first one, the pumps are automatically going to be calibrated with the drip factor and they're going to be calibrated with the drip tubing so we won't need to do that okay but at times if you're doing home care someplace where there is not a um, pump available you're going to have to do this manually and that's when we need to know the drip factor okay so let's look at that one so here we have a thousand liter um a thousand ml bag to infuse over eight hours our drip factor tubing, um, it says 10 on it, 10 drops per ml, okay? So how many drops per minute do we wanna have? Here's our equation. So to do this, we have our total volume, our time in minutes, not in hours, our time in minutes times our drip factor equals drops per minute. So let's bring, oh, let's set our numbers in there. So 1,000 ml divided by total time in minutes. So that would be eight times 60, right? So that would be 480 minutes times our drip factor, and that was 10, okay? And when we do the math, we get 20.8, and we have to have a whole number. So 21 drops per minute. So I'm going to come back over here to the bag and then what I would need to do is to watch my watch and then I'm going to watch how fast it's dripping and I want to set this up so it's dropping at about 21 drops per minute. If I do that, it's going to deliver this 1000 ml in 8 hours, okay? Alright, so let's just do one more. So we have a 250 milliliter um, bag with ciprofloxin in it to infuse over two hours. Our drip factor is 15. So what are we gonna have here? Drops per minute. We need to set this IV up manually. So total volume is 250 ml. Our total time in minutes, two hours, would be 120 minutes times 
our drip factor, which is 15, equals, and if we do the